You are looking at a pattern produced by an electric field. Similar experiments, first done by Michael Faraday in the early 1800s, set the groundwork for an understanding of electricity. Of course, electric fields are invisible. However, it is possible to visualize electric fields with the aid of the simple apparatus. Let me show you how it works. The source of electricity is a regular 120 volt outlet. High voltage is supplied by this 7500 volt transformer, the kind used in neon signs. A high voltage secondary wire runs to each post through 20 million ohm radio resistors for safety. Each resistor makes contact with a metal post. Now we place these plastic sheets as covers to prevent shock. These grass seeds will align themselves with the electric field. First, we take this Freon solvent and pour it into a shallow dish. Then, sprinkle the glass seeds on the surface of the liquid. Pour some mineral oil as a top layer. The two liquids form a boundary or interface in which the seeds move easily in a horizontal plane. Next, we spread the seeds out in an even layer. Now, let's try our first experiment. We take a piece of clothes hanger wire, bent at right angles, insert it into the post with the other end in the liquid. We repeat this with the other post. Now turn on the current. Now observe the seeds aligning themselves radially around each wire. We push the wires closer together. The seeds align themselves with the field to form a dipole pattern, showing us the shape of this electric field. At any instant, the two poles have an opposite charge. We turn off the current and replace one wire with a bar of metal. Notice that the lines that appear to enter the bar are at right angles to the surface of the bar. We disconnect the current again and add a second parallel bar. This time, the field lines are perpendicular to the plates and run from plate to plate. Also notice that the field is fairly uniform. In addition, observe the change in the shape of the field at the ends of the plates. In the previous experiments, we were using both terminals of the transformer, thus producing an opposite charge. 
on each of the electrodes. Now suppose we connect two electrodes to a single terminal. thus producing an identical charge on both electrodes. Now, let us see the type of field pattern we will get in this case. Watch the seeds align themselves with the electric field. The lines of force indicate repulsion and do not form a dipole pattern. Such experiments performed by Michael Faraday helped establish the concept of electric field. Later, James Clark Maxwell put electrical phenomena on a firm theoretical basis. It is interesting to note that in the preface to his works, Maxwell said that in his mind's eye, Faraday saw lines of force traversing all space. <laughs> 